playing jokes. Where's my brother? Save my brother, can you help me? Yes, Swaggins. I know how to save him. I was contacted by the same voice who spoke with you earlier. But why do you want to save your brother? He's my fam, bro. Okay, that's a good enough answer. Now, let me explain to you something first. Your brother does not exist anymore. He was not born because of a disruption in the past, a shift. You also did not notice this, but your mother is no longer alive. Swaggins. To save your brother, you must travel back in time and change what had caused him not to be born. There is a being called the Temporal Traveler on a planet called Hitler, orbiting the star Proxima Centauri, about 4.1 light years away. He can teach you how to travel through time. To get to Hitler by conventional means, our fastest spaceship traveling at 70 kilometers per second would still take 19,000 years to get you to your destination. If you could find some way to accelerate a spacecraft to near the speed of light, 
your journey would take about 4.1 years. But here on Earth, time will have passed almost 915 years. Instead, I have spent my entire life creating this machine that opens an Einstein Rosen bridge, a wormhole, right inside my own house. A wormhole creates a tunnel between two points in the space time continuum that allows for instantaneous access between them. Think about space as a 2D piece of paper connected by a 3D cylindrical tube to another part of the same 2D piece of paper. Wormholes work like this, except you add one dimension to all our measurements. So now, space is 3D, connected by a 4D tube. My machine works by capturing quantum foam, small tubes in the fabric of space-time which blink and out of existence. Because they are created and destroyed in such incredibly small amounts, the process by which they come and go do not violate the laws of conservation. Thus, I can create one and enlarge it to create a wormhole that I can then set to link to Hithere. Dave? You're the dimensional balancer? Yeah, isn't it cool? I got it from jobsearch.com. Wait, you know how to save my brother. Yeah. Follow me. I call it... The GTFO. Wait, why is it called the GTFO? Because it makes you GTFO. Why else? Now, swag it. You are going to use this machine to travel to Heathrow. But there is a problem, because capturing quantum foam and enlarging it, it, it requires an immense amount of energy. You must split half the amount of atoms in an entire galaxy to power it. Alternatively, you can buy a double down from KFC from $5.99, which contains roughly 99.9% .9 of the energy needed. Can you do it? Closed. Well, this is the best I can do. Hey, this was the best I could do. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Now give me a moment while I prepare the machine. Wait, what the hell? I thought this was fuel for the machine. It is fuel. It has to be converted to usable energy first. Alright, get it. I can't pull it in forever. Wait, pull what in? Uh, just wait and see. Now what? What? <sighs> wait, what was that? Oh god! Relax, dude, it's just a fuel! That's damn bad. Ah!
Well, I know that we're already traveling to the future in one second increments. I also know that changing space will have to change time. Because gravity bends space into us also bend time. And moving at the speed of light, it will also slow time around the travel. Perfect. Theoretically, it makes two new spaces and times. Negative energy and wormhole requires making it no one knows how difficult it must be send it to another timeline by the world. Wait, but what are the dangers of traveling? The law of causality. Careful, we must be. I cannot change anything in the past other than what I was sent to do, right? Correct. Carry a black hole. I will send you through. Wouldn't I die in a black hole? Why are you talking like that? Oh, uh, sorry, my bad. Uh, come over here, check my computer. Okay, so, it says here, anyways, a curved black hole, or white hole, is created by massive dying stars which collapse into random neutron stars, which can't collapse into a singularity due to centrifugation, you know? So, um, it could possibly send you to another space or time, but it's highly unlikely that you'll arrive at your desired destination. You still wanna go? Please follow me to my time warp machine. Okay, so you're gonna want to be really careful, okay? You might feel a slight tingle, but you know, you just gotta deal with it. Uh, so. You'll be warped into some period of time on heat tray, so hopefully that's where you want it to be. Maybe. Good luck, adventurer. I didn't even bother to confront you. I was so shocked. I'm only here to take five minutes with me. I'm not taking my son away from you. Don't you dare to touch him. Come on, baby. Let's go. We're leaving daddy. Come on.
26 years old. He confronted me and told me of what he had done, and now he had learned how to time travel. He used his ability to go back in time and murder Linda in 2002, so that he could spend the following years with another woman. Yes, he was cheating on your mother, but because you stopped the present day George from killing her, your past parents developed a deeper affection for each other and reconciled the relationship. That is why your family is no longer in shambles. I can faintly remember how terrified I was when I was four, huddled up in that corner, hiding from my father. Wait, wait, wait. So, wait, so you really are me? Whoa, that's really trippy. Yes, it is. Here, guess who this is? Swaggins. Hey, man, it's me, Dilly. Hey, I'm glad to know you're alive. Thanks, bro. All to you. Thank you, son. Mom? Yes, I didn't know it was you 45 years ago, but you tackled George to the floor. I can't thank you enough. Yeah, it's nice to know you're alive too, Mom. Now, to make this future work out, stay on the phone. Let me tell you about all the basics of time travel. Go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 you fucking fell! Are you okay? Linda, I told you I'm not cheating on you. George, I saw you with another woman in her bedroom when I came home from work the other day. I couldn't believe it. I was too shocked to even confront you about it. Bitches, I'm not cheating on you! Oh, no. Alameda 
uh, located at the, uh, the naval base down there, and we did a shoot over there in one of the abandoned houses. Uh, granted, we were trespassing, I hope not. Shit. I was sitting under the tree in uh, West Alameda, you know, under next to these old abandoned houses, just writing the script, writing the script in broad daylight, trying to get this done so that Brandon could say his lines as the Temple Traveler. Um, but he got it done, um, and if you guys rewatch the video, you can see that I have my phone uh, held in my left hand, um, and I'm actually reading off of the script. Uh, it's very plain sight, but we don't have time to do that, so uh, we just went with it. But I think it adds a little bit of a comedic effect, a little bit of a Easter egg for anybody who catches that. We also went to uh, David's house for the the dimensional balancer encounter, where we met up with him uh, and we did the shoot there. Um, and it took uh, a whole day. It took from six. Well, okay, maybe the whole evening. It took from 6 to 11. We tried to get a lot of it done, and we did. Damn. That's nasty. Just had a little booger come out of my nose, man. Uh, one of the things working with David is he, he can be a good actor if he wants to be, but he generally can't come out of the shell. When he gets out there, he's a really, you know, a really funny actor, a really funny guy. Uh, he gets the job done, yeah, when, you know, he's at 11 p.m. in the fucking evening, and he's got Othello due the next morning, and he's up until like 3 a.m. doing it. Bitch, why don't you have time management? You know, he has some really funny shoots, and follows the script really well. Um, he reads his lines, they all come out. And he also uh, did that actual fart, uh, which I included at the end of the video. That was actually him <laughs> farting. That's dank as hell. We finished the, uh... The video here at my house, the last uh, couple scenes with the uh, uh, the fight between mom and dad, uh, George and Linda, uh, right here in my scene in the front door over there. The original concept was that we would have Kevin run in and see himself uh, in the doorway, uh, and we would actually have Kevin here, and Kevin here, like overlaid. We would overlay the tracks so that there would be two Kevins without a kind of cool effect. But we thought that was kind of too hard, so we just had Vu act like he was pregnant. Um, and that's actually a helmet that we put under him. And we shot into the door, and we had him fake uh, 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 fear shit, like whatever the hell he did. And you know, um, so I tackled Kevin to the floor. Uh, and Kevin got hurt a lot that day. Uh, he got two bruises on his knee. He got uh, a bad ass. Because um, he landed on his ass many times for that shot. I mean, Kevin and Vu are pretty decent at acting when they want to be. Uh, Vu's got some English grammar issues. Hey kids, I'll make breakfast. Fix how does waffle sounds? Uh, how does waffle sounds? The fuck? Uh, yeah, if you guys noticed, in the uh, flashback to the past in 2002, the colors are saturated, uh, they're low saturated, so they are faded and not, you know, it looks kind of black and white, but, you know, there's still a little bit of color there. Uh, then you fast forward to 2015 when everything's fine again, uh, it's all color again, which means that everything's back to normal. Uh, my light's back in color. So if you compare the end, the ending scenes to the basically the be, the beginning and the uh, the journey, uh, you can see that the saturation is a little bit lower in the journey because I'm uh, I'm in that zone where I'm not quite sure what's about to happen and I just want to save my brother. Um, but in the end, I do save him, and that's why everything turns to color. Again. The script was all written uh, by me. Uh, I had some, I had David take out some lines, you know, for in the interest of time. But overall, uh, I thought they all executed their lines very well. The explanation of the story, if you guys didn't get this in the in the uh, explanation that Future Swaggins gave from back in the uh, back in the video, was uh, so I wake up to find my brothers not in my bed uh, or not in uh, his bed. So I have to look for him, and somehow he's like not existing anymore. And you know, I didn't notice that my mom wasn't alive, but apparently she wasn't either. So I find that out from this dimensional balancer guy after I get word from this voice 
that he, he can help me save my brother. So I go over to the dimensional boundary, he sends me in a wormhole, Einstein Rosenfish, basically the quantum foam in the space-time fabric. You capture one, you enlarge in it uh, with a lot of energy and you send a person through it and it goes works like a wormhole. You basically go from one space to another space. Uh, and that's the uh, explanation of hyperspace, uh, which was one of the requirements for our physics video. Um, and the other part, so I, I split it into two parts. I split the first part uh, to, to explain hyperspace. The second part with Brandon uh, playing the time, the temporal traveler, was for the explanation of time travel. Uh, and what he did was to travel through time, we would, I would have to be put into the time machine, uh, and apparently he says that it, it creates a care black hole, which is a ring of massive dying stars or neutron stars. Uh, so it creates a ring um, and creates a, a hole in the center, but it can't collapse in upon itself due to centrifugation, which is the force of keeping it rotating, uh, uh, moving in, a, in a, a circular motion. So the stars can't collapse in upon itself. Um, that is what creates the white hole. And we use that white hole to travel back in time, 2002. Uh, very unlikely that I actually ended up 2002 and Earth. The black hole would definitely not allow that, theoretically. Um, it would be near impossible. Uh, if you could pick any space in any time in the world, it just so happens to be outside my door uh, 13 years ago was very unlikely. So, but it was played out so that the, the movie would happen that way. Um, so then, uh, so I save my, uh, my mom. So here's where it gets confusing. So basically my dad from the present comes uh, back in time to 2002 to murder my mom who was living in the past. Because my dad from the future wanted to change his life, he wanted to spend time with another woman who was not my mom uh, because he was cheating on her at the time in 2002. So basically what he did was he came back, he went back in time, he murdered her, and then he spent the following years with another woman. So basically that's why I wake up and I don't have a brother, but somehow I have a memory of my brother uh, on that specific day. Uh, I save her by pushing Kevin, uh, who is my dad. Uh, he falls and he, he basically disappears because... He disappears, this is confusing, he disappears because present or past dad has developed deeper feelings for past mom, which means now that he has no motive to go back in the past. Uh, he has no motive for his present day self to go back into the past to murder Linda, which means that I broke the cycle. So now, uh, basically, I saved her by stopping my dad, so my dad no longer kills my mom. And there we have it. A deeper affection leads to a happier future. Um, and that's why the uh, future, or the present day, uh, is depicted in color. Future Swaggins. Uh, I, I designed him as a character who uh, is basically me, but older. Uh, so he learned how to time travel uh, at this very time, in, 20, in 2015, when I learned how to time A little bit about the um, time travel and set at the same time, but for a different reason that he would continue on with his life to figure out how to go back in time, or how to tell his past self to go back further in time to save his mother and his brother, so that he could have a mother and brother in the in the in his time in the future, basically. Um, so what we did was uh, I took uh, a small little bit from uh, the anime uh, Science Gate, uh, which follows a similar concept, but uh, I did not rip off of it completely. Um, I put my own twists and turns into it. So basically, uh, Future Swaggins is a uh, a researcher for time travel in uh, as a part of the internationally democratic, globally affiliated federation, which stands for, uh, which is abbreviated as IDGAF. I don't give a fuck. That's that's kind of the uh, the joke there. Uh, there was also the phone uh, that he developed called the TBT. Uh, also uh, a, a joke reference, the Throwback Thursday. Um, so we had that. Uh, so overall, I use a lot of puns. I use the GTFO, just to get the fuck out. Um, Vu in the time machine, and, you know, some, some, some weird shit happening in there. Uh, 
like I got raped or something. I think. I think that's what happened there. Um, and then um, we had David fart in a cup. And yeah, he farted. He did not shard in that cup. That's that's dank. That's, that's even more dank. Um, <coughs> so anyway, about the music. Um, we took basically our entire music selection from anime uh, shit that we watched. Uh, just because anime has just got loads of great music. So hopefully we'll get better cameras in the future. Because um, my equipment right now is currently a T2i. Um, which is pretty good. Um, so yeah, that is the gist of the video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it.